I'll be your... No, 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 sorry, that's not going to go back on that. I'll come back to it. Don't be shy. By the way, yeah. as you can see, there's no milk being used here. Oh, water. Okay. Well, this is our final question. So. <coughs> <coughs> <laughs> no. Nah. This is bad. Yo, my people, welcome to Ray Ray's Hot Shack. I am your host, Ray, aka Flosso, aka Drip Lord. And this is the show where we have hot wings and even hotter questions. And on today's episode, we have Starring Riddell, aka Mr. Nutribox, yes, aka sir. Mr. The Personal Trainer that everyone adores, okay. and also aka The Wild Lion that has now been put in a cage. <laughs> Never cage, sir. Never cage. Never cage. <laughs> you gotta see. People beg to, <laughs> people beg to differ, sir. <laughs> Of course, this is the show we have hot wings. Mm -hmm. Say you can, uh, you're a man that handles your spice. Of course. Spicy man. Okay, so the first one's Valentino. Very easy peasy, you know. You're a spicy man, so this should be very easy for you. Light one. So we'll go into the first wing. Oh, this is lemon and herb. <laughs> <laughs> So, you know, you first came into the, the family, mm -hmm. you had a high top. Can't lie, it done well for the time, for, for the, the season. For the season. <laughs> <laughs> if you get my idea, yeah. of course, you, to, you could not. Of course you get my idea, <laughs> sir. So, you bagged you your girl around that time, didn't you? I don't even know what girl you're talking oh, about. Oh, all right, cool. Yeah. As you are my Jamaican brother, we brought some scotch bonnet and ginger into the mix. Okay, the ginger will do me well. And the scotch bonnet, you know, it's very easy for you, mate. Like what? Yeah. This is kind of hot, though. A lot of my clients, or, what can I say, Caucasian. Mm. So, white. Yes, sir. Mm. Actually, one of my clients one time was like, oh, there's a lot of kick in the sea, bass. I said, oh, <laughs> there's no kick, my dear. <laughs> there's no, there's no you know, kick, my dear. There's no kick, but you know, from there, I said, you know, let me slim it down a bit. So, so next question, brother. Mm -hmm. So, you're a professional footballer for many years. Yes, sir. As you know. Mm -hmm. so what age did you start? Uh, about, I got into a professional club at 14. Mm -hmm. So that was like during year 10, I believe, okay. all the way until about 22, I'd say like, I think two years into the nation. Okay. I think. Okay, cool. So just tell us the challenges that you faced and like whether you miss it. I can't say I miss it because coming into the nation, no, do you know what? Starting the nation, it was like, okay, you know, a battle between football and service. I'm sure you, of course, you, first you, day, first training, day, first training first day, and things like that. Yeah. So there was a time I used to go football over service, mm -hmm. and then you'd come back to your phone after service and see the messages in the oh, nation yeah, family chat. Words. Oh, wish it was mad, powerful. This picture was powerful. I'm like, oh. So you, but you know, repeating service back. Sorry, Christians. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I can't watch service back. I'll be real with you. Yeah. I don't like it's watching service same. back. It's not, and I have no attention span. So even listening to it but i'm not really listening i'm just playing it for the sake, my yeah my heart's sake yeah. but i don't really care i can't lie to you mm. I, won't, I won't really listen so in that respect i said you know what it's gonna have to be a service thing but then when you're going service you're sitting there thinking ah, it could be a football though so you would say that you don't really miss it as much based on the things that you're doing now no not what i'm doing now is is, is doing me well so i'm happy now yeah it's like i feel like football was just something to fill a void at the time mm -hmm. like coming to the nation you experience different things you get yeah. it so i'm good okay i love that we're getting into the next one it's called dirty dicks hot sauce this is a great name who thought that name was it you? How did your grandma? Just <laughs> you know, you know for another day. <laughs> Very sweet. It's actually nice. Yeah, I'll really be nice. real. I don't know how coffee is sweating on number three. Bro, but this is like I told him. He, remember, you said his favorite sauce was shitu, whatever that thing was called. By the way, I don't know what country that's from, but these ask for their names, yeah. How can you call a sauce shitu, shitu? Like shitu. someone just pooed and just mixed with <laughs> spice. <laughs> Uh, you know what's mad? Okay, let me tell you why I cut the high top. Yeah. Finally. Imagine, I'm not going to say who, but mm. obviously, went to move to someone in the nation, yeah? Mm. This is what we've been waiting for, people. <laughs> <laughs> the, the counter to my first approach was, oh, are you got a name? Mm. I said, no. The whole, like, what's up? Like, 
He's like, your high top. Oh. I said, no. I promise you. By the way, I didn't even want to go like that. So, Oof. that's not even the, the issue. You know, but, the girl's probably <laughs> watching this show. <laughs> I don't even know. So I apologize on his bar from now. Wait, no, is there. I'm gonna say I don't think the girl's here, but I feel like she's here. Anyway, that's not the she, point. She's here. She's here. Huh? She's here right now. <laughs> no, but obviously, from that day, mm. I went home and I said, bro, like, I think I even directed this, you know. I was like, bro, da 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 said da 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 da. So I was like, you know what, I need to cut this high top. So I cut it, mm. then I feel like that caused me more problems, to be fair. But, you know. You know, you're a caged man now. I'm, yeah, I'm caged. So. Yes. <laughs> I'm very caged. I'm going to deny the cages, but yes, sir. Yes, oh, no. Yes. Caged man. Okay, cool. So, you were staying on the foot. <laughs> <laughs> we played amongst many footballers, as you know. We play on a Wednesday together and things like that. Yes, sir. So, I want you to do a quick ranking of the players that, from worst to best, now, you're a guy, you know, you don't shy away from certain things. So, mm -hmm. I'm just going to name a few names. And you give me the their ranking from worst to from, from best to worst or from, worst to best. Let's do worst to best, okay. and then you have to give your reasons why. That's right. This person is here. This person is here. Let's go. Okay. You hear the name first. So first you got you know Daniel Ogo. Mm -hmm. You got Connor. Mm -hmm. You got Daniel Hector. Yes, sir. You got myself, sir. That's a good top four, though. I was expecting some bad names, but that's a good top four. And just bearing in mind what I've done to your team in these past few <laughs> weeks. Sorry, peace. By the way, I'll be real. Mm. Actually, let me not do my boy like Worst that. to best. Okay. Although Ogo has performed and scored two Hatties back to back, I will put him as worst because mm -hmm. I don't think Ogo offers a lot other than his finishing, which is a big thing. Very big. But in gameplay, I'm not sure he's generally there. So Fair I'll enough. put him as worst. Fair enough. Second, I would say Connor, only because he doesn't have the fitness to last 90 minutes. Mm. Bit, the bit guy will be panting. Second half, he goes downhill. It's First off, Connor is off. Connor's actually cold. By the way, guys, yeah. He's been on the weighty side. Right? Connor wasn't fat when I knew him before the nation. I think you lot Shito and them sh the whatever pounded, things. Yeah, my goosey, all of them all things, of they just messed them up. Mm. But he was a slim thing, you know. Why doesn't he not join? Nutri, Nutri group. So I feel like Connor suits the weight. Mm. Do you get it? I can't imagine him slim again, so let's leave him. Between you and Hector, mm. I would say. This is very tight. Per, it's tight. It's tight. The reason why I would say Hector as champ is because mm -hmm. I played with Hector 11 aside. I haven't played with you 11 aside. That's fair. Which is true, right? Yeah, it's very true. Hector, I played with Hector 11 side and he's very effective. Very. And you know Hector's like a little rat. He's so agile. Slivery, slivery. He's just like. a, he's actually just a, you know. Little so lizard. He's lizard-like. Yeah, lizard looking. But. <laughs> 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 I, can't, I, can't, I, can't, I mean, Hector's a handsome chap. He's had his, um, you know. He's had his, he's had his fair share. Anyway, <laughs> let's, let's move I on. Can't do my, I can't do my boy like that. Let's move on from that. He's done, he's, he's done very well. He's done well, sir. You so. know, many, you know, many <laughs> endeavors and Conk things King. like that. <laughs> We're moving into the zombie apocalypse, sir. This name alone, yeah. Very scary name, isn't this it? This is the one Chris McCry did. Yeah. So let's try it. So I'll go first as you oh, yeah, ask me to Ladies first. Yes. <laughs> 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 they can hear that on the mic. <laughs> I've had such <laughs> try to say it there quietly. <laughs> I just want to kick Ooh. off. Is he Tiger? Oh, sorry. I don't know if I'm allowed to swear on this show. Sorry. Sorry, sirs. I'm one. Kiss. You launched your Nutri brand. Mm -hmm which of course is one of the most inspirational brands within the nation and cool. one of the most consistent brands in the nation. So why, what, what actually pushed you to have the passion to actually build a brand at such scale? Um, firstly, I, I always do this and everyone knows that Nutri is because of P Sam. Mm -hmm. And I say that because I remember there's a day, oh my gosh, I just touched my eye. Oh, so don't worry, I don't need a tissue. I'm a big boy. You sure, um, sir? Yeah, I'm sure. Um, so basically, boy. yes, big boy, sir. But not a big man. <laughs> <laughs> I was cooking on my snap as like, just, you know, you eat. Right? I'm just cooking, I'm snapping it, in it. Yeah. I'm gassed on my snap, blah, blah, blah. Everyone was like, wow, this looks good. Like, let me taste some, let me taste some. Mm. Only girls, by the way. Cool. But um, that's just a side note. 
But, um, Why does he always have to add in the girl stuff? But anyways, we'll, we'll get into that, wouldn't we? No, we won't. So yeah, okay. I'm fine now. Oh, um, right. This is five, six years ago, oh, so oh, don't yes. worry. Changed my... Just a small blip in, yes. my, in my life, <laughs> isn't it? <laughs> so I started cooking it and selling it on my Snap. It started off as just a Snap thing, do you know what I mean? Like every Monday or whatever, I would make like 10 meals. Yeah. It was now like weekly, I'm doing like hundreds of meals. Wow. Um, I got clients all over the gaff, literally um, doing all... all all manner of things really so from that it started out as just a banter thing on snap to be honest mm. but i realized that that business actually stemmed from p do you get it so it wasn't even a thing where it was random mm. i realized that that's something that we prayed on in yeah. in Creighton. like that's what we prayed on mm. so from that i think uh i think two or three years in nutri fitness was birthed mm. and that was only because i started my personal training journey yeah so as i grew in like the healthy stuff and all them things there my passion grew for wanting to change people's lives for good in like looks like i don't understand how people can settle in not looking good i don't i don't get it because like, it does a lot for do you get you it as a person exactly yeah. so, do you get what i'm trying to say so for me i don't know about you guys but when i wake up i run to the mirror mm. not even on like a prideful thing but like i need to check i still look calm yeah, yeah, yeah. do you get it yeah. so that's where the personal training side were but moving into the next wing is called the bomb Sounds great to me. Sounds lovely, doesn't it? Yeah, let's go for it. Let's man. go for it, mate. Your mouth feels like that. <laughs> <coughs> yeah, that one kicked straight away, didn't oh, it? My God. <laughs> You're right there, gazer. <laughs> we hear you make a famous mac and cheese, mm -hmm. but a little birdie told me that you <laughs> stole this from somebody. And it's actually a very special somebody that's dear to your heart. You care to get into that? Who's the special somebody? I thought there was only one. No. No? There's God, there's PT, there's um, P Sam. There's, you know? Mm, very powerful. Oh my days, that wig is cute. Okay, so the, the mac and cheese. <laughs> <laughs> Let me be real. Please, we just need honesty on the show. I started Soul Food. This is, this is peak. Mm. The mac and cheese, yeah? Mm. It was inspired by somebody. No, this thing is mad. Be careful so, with your eyes. So. so obviously, I started soul food, as everyone knows. And I felt like mac and cheese weren't doing it. I didn't even sell the mac and cheese in the soul food to begin with. Mm -hmm. And then one of my... Um... Your, voice... <laughs> <laughs> your voice is changing, young man. <laughs> I your voice is great. <laughs> Bro, your voice is changing. we had one, two, three, four. That was Your this voice thing. Is changing, sir. Oh, please, bro. Your voice. Like my sweat glands just process something, and I'm just, I'm just baking right now. The mac and cheese was inspired by our dear COD sister. Okay. Praise God for Pastor Obi's life. Oh yes, Lord. I have a sister in COD who actually said, "You know what? I think she had my mac and cheese to your menu." I said, "Oh, let me taste it first. She made it for me. I tasted it, and I can't lie." She had the best mac that I've tasted in my life. I'll wow. be real. Wow. So, so it? it's a no-brainer. So that what did it. Obviously, people are there to enhance your life, your of business. Course. A helper is there for your help, as as the name is as it is. Yes. So what's that business not helping me? Hmm. I'm you saying is it? that is that is that one of the things that did it? Or was that you know? that did what, sir? You know, your caged <laughs> man right now, ain't you, sir? So. Of course. Do you know what it is? Yeah, I'll be honest. Hmm. That mac has made me a lot of um you know stuff yes. so she's done well and it is yes it was her influence so if that's the answer to your question that's me like, this is mad so we're gonna call them mad dog this is the name i'm actually shook of mm. let's go mate i'll go i'll go who actually taught you how to cook was it your mother how did this thing come about? Uh, you know Jamaican home, yeah? yeah? Usually your dad's never around. Mm. My dad's always been around, but we used to beef a lot. Mm. So there's times where, by the way, he's actually bastard. Mm. Because powerful. he would actually beef me and then prevent my mum from cooking for me. How can you do that as a man? Your son shouldn't eat so because did he beef starve? Him. No, he ate. Oh, wow. But he would tell my mum not to feed me. And your mum wouldn't feed you? She, I think she was pressured, peer pressure. So there's times where they'll be in their room 
and I have nothing to eat for dinner. Yeah. I go downstairs and just try and plan my meal. And it never used to work, but I realized through my failure, I don't have to cook. Yeah. It's either sink or swim, and I swam. Like, this is... So it wasn't your mum that taught you how to cook, to clarify? No, sir, I think I was self-taught. Hmm. This one is called Mega Death. I feel like I'm dying already. Oh, wow. Uh, I'll be your... No, 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 sorry, I have to have another bite of that. I'll come back to it. Don't be shy. By the way, yeah. as you can see, there's no milk being used here. Oh, water. Okay. Well, this is our final question. <coughs> <coughs> <laughs> No, nah, this is bad. How many calories serving is in that mac and cheese? Because I have a few questions to ask you based on that mac and cheese. So, the mac and cheese, per serving, I reckon, it's about 613 calories. For one slab, one slab. Are you setting up these people to have 600 calories so you can have more people to personal train? Is this a hustle, sir? <coughs> I'm not coughing because of the question. Is the week okay? Um, I'll be honest with you, most certainly not. So, after you realize, oh my god, mm. <sighs> <laughs> oh my days, this is bad. Mm. So are you setting them up to then be their personal trainer but still selling them Nutribox food? No, it's, sir. It's, so, it's... what it is is that healthy eating is actually a lifestyle, so it's a balanced diet. Mm. No one's gonna be able to eat kale, spinach, broccoli, carrots, and salmon for the rest of their life. Okay. You have to enjoy life. That's the whole point of healthy eating. It's a lifestyle, not a quick fix. Okay. The mac and cheese, as long as you eat that and cut the calories for the rest of the day, you're good. Mm. As you can see, I eat mac and cheese, but I look great, sir. Yes, sir. But you burn about 2,000 calories a day. Okay. If you want to eat mac and cheese, you've got to burn it. Okay, I understood. So how's that wing, mate? Tell us about that a bit. I can't lie. <laughs> I feel like tonight, I'm going to be in a real big problem. Mm. Later that night. So we're getting into the last wing, well, the last sauce. Yes, and sir. as you know, it's the Ray Ray's mouth clapper. <sighs> My mouth's already clapped. Oh, even though you barely made it, you're sweating <laughs> on the side of your face. <laughs> that is a word. You look like quite a mess for quite a <clears throat> clean, put together man. All right, sir. Oh my gosh. Be uh, careful with your eyes. Let's cheers. <sighs> Close to you, sir. Yes. For a great time. Oh, yes, yes, sir. Mm. You're looking dead into my eyes. I'm not, I'm not even missing. <laughs> Easy. In all fairness, sir. Oh, my God, my eyes. Mm. As you said, you're quite a toned, very toned, chiseled man. Yes, sir. So, at the end of the show, I want us to do a arm wrestle to show if actually you're as chiseled and strong as you say that you are, sir. I'm ready for that, you know. Ready? You know what's mad? Disclaimer, arm wrestles do not show the strength of a man. But, <laughs> you know what it is, yo? Look, you know You've been, you been trimming down, haven't you? Can you zoom into that, sir? Just so they can yeah, get Yeah, they the, need to zoom. It's looking like I ate a sweet potato hole. Oh, wow. It? Okay. <laughs> yes, so we're going to go to arm wrestle to end the show in all fairness. Ready for you. Okay. Yeah, ready? Yeah. Three, two, one. <laughs> ah! Well, this is what you call. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, you all should Connect have won. Mafia. You all should have won. Nutri. Yes. As you can see, guys, the trainer does it well. <laughs> so, you know. Fair enough, I mate. I can't lie. I should have lost to you. But we're, team, um, we're team COD together. So, it's fine. Oh, right. Praise God. Thank you, guys. This is the end of season one of Ray Ray's Hot Shack. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And let us know who you thought was the best contestant on this show. If you guys want to see a season two, make sure you guys are commenting, liking, and posting on all media platforms. Because as you know, I have bosses ahead of me, you know, they've got a budget. But if we're not really getting the views, they can't really air me again, can't they? So make sure you guys are always doing that on the media platforms and showing your love. Don't be a, you know, a, a, a lover that hides on the back and things like that. Just make sure that you guys are showing that you truly do love the show. I enjoyed it. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Hopefully I see you again. Peace. <laughs> 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 Thank you, sir.
Please give it out of me, guys. It's, it's my pleasure. Can't lie. Is the camera up now? No, oh, doctors. <laughs> hello, end, end that thing. Hello, hello. <laughs> Mr. Nutribox. This is not almond milk. This is not almond milk. <laughs> 